Welcome back guys to the channel and today I want to try a little experiment. This is some Kodak film developed with Ilford chemicals. Usually I would like to have a bit of the leader sticking out. When I'm loading the film onto the reel, I like to keep the film inside the canister just because it's just, when you're loading the film inside the bag and you can't see everything, the last thing you want is the film to be all over the place. So I like to keep it in the canister for as long as possible. But since I can't retrieve it because my camera, my Canon EOS 5 is so good at winding it back in, the lead is so far into the canister that even with a film retriever, I can't get it back out. Whilst in the changing bag, I'll crack open the lid of the canister. I'll pull out the, the film outside the canister, find the leader, find, I've got the leader, made, making sure that the film roll does not unravel and then slot it back inside the canister. So then the leader is back out, sticking out, and the rest of the film is in the canister. And then I just proceed as normal. I'll get the film into the tank in like less than two minutes. Sometimes it'll take me 20 minutes. I don't know why, it's weird. Here we go, guys. Hopefully. Okay. Obviously I won't. I've got Kodak Trimax in here, but I don't have any Kodak developing chemicals. All I have left is some Ilfotec um, DDX. So I'm curious to see what Kodak film looks like developed by Ilford. In terms of temperature, in terms of quantities, all that, I'm just gonna follow what the massive dev chart tells me. Right here, this is what it says. So I've got um, 800 mils of water in there. I'm gonna put in 200 mils of the Ilford. I'm never too precise on my water temperature. I don't think it remakes you know, with black and white film, you can really be quite rogue with your water temperature, so long as it's thereabouts on the temperature. It's not quite, it's a bit warmer than 24 degrees. I like to go just a bit warmer just to be on the safe side. Set the clock for eight and a half minutes. See you in eight and a half minutes. That's eight and a half minutes, time to pour out the chemicals. And so in terms of a stop bath, I just use, uh, I just use water. Probably in the future, I probably won't film the development part of this um, the whole development process. It's just too much to think of, thinking of composition, thinking of setting up the shot, and especially when you have to be sensitive of time, sensitive of, of so many things whilst developing. I probably won't do this again, but hey ho. It's all about content, isn't it? Okay. So when I'm trying to stop the film, I usually wash the film about three, four times. Then I'll put in the fixer. It's sort of up for debate as in, you know, from what I've seen online. Just to be safe, I think three minutes is bad enough. I'm using Ilford Rapid Fixer. What I've read is that you can't really fix your film for too long, but I think three and a half minutes is more than enough. That's been fixed for long enough. Put it back into its little home. Again, rinse it out thoroughly. According to Ilford's website, they recommend either six minutes of continuous washing, which I think is really wasteful. First to do is to do three washes. The first wash is you agitate it for five turns, and then the second wash you do it for 10, and then the last wash you do it for 20 turns. What I also like to use is a bit of Ilfotol, is a bit of wetting agent. The good thing about Ilfotol, the wetting agent, is that it makes it less tactic, so basically it means makes it less sticky, meaning less dust will stick to it when it dries. Me personally, I don't mind a bit of dust, but when it's really, really dusty, I just can't deal with it. It also just means it saves you a lot of time in post-processing um, in terms of saving you a lot of time in dust, you know, removing dust from the scans. So the last step, I'm gonna add a bit of Ilfotol. I should add, this is not necessary. If you don't like dusting your scans, then I highly recommend this step. Um, if not, you, you don't have to. Even though it's not reusable, you only literally use like a few drops um, at a time. So it lasts a very long time. So the moment of truth, 
Did they come out all right? I'm always, I'm always very nervous at this point because it's, it's just to know what's gonna happen. Okay. Yay! They're not completely ruined. Yay! <laughs> Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang these up, let it dry, and then scan them, and then we'll go through them together. So guys, what do you guys think? I thought that the results came up not bad, right? Um, they're definitely usable. Um, so yeah, that was just a little interesting experiment. Maybe, did you guys know you could do that already? Did you know that you could, did you already know that you could develop Kodak with Ilford chemicals? But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, share it with your mom, share it with your dad. There's plenty more things to come, plenty more videos to come. So make sure you subscribe. Click that little box over there. I don't know, follow me on Instagram at Zane Shoots Film. Check out my portfolio as well at www.zanereza.com. Plenty more videos to come guys. Keep learning, keep shooting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.